happening for our military men and women. I've had great concerns about the open air burn pits. And so I wanted to ask you, Dr. Rice, because you did put in your testimony the responsibility for public health for the military. These have been there for eight years, and I have received a lot of information over the past year or so about the impact and how soldiers had talked about it and complained about it and gone to healthcare clinics and are showing up with skin diseases, blood diseases, neurological problems, et cetera. And so I know, you know we've worked on it. We got something into the last NDA authorization. We'll continue to do that. But it is a puzzle to me about how this could have gone on for so long. And I would just ask you if you could tell me, has this been something that has been an, an issue for all of you? And has it been discussed? And are you keeping the records that you need for these men and women when they return from service and for the next years of their lives so we can determine if we've had any problems with them because of their exposure? Uh, thank you, ma'am, for that, uh, that question. Uh, the uh, environmental impact uh, of burn pits and its impact on our servicemen and women uh, has been a source of concern. I, I believe, uh, let me ask uh, General Schoomaker, I think the public health, your public health command uh, has, uh, has taken a keen interest in that problem uh, and has been tracking uh, what's happened. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my we have a public health command previously known as the Center for Health Promotion and Preventive Medicine and the Veterinary Command now have been combined in Army Medicine into a single public health command. Uh, Brigadier General uh, Tim Adams commands that and has uh, got subject matter experts that have been tracking uh, all of the topics that, that you've described here, ma'am, and, and we can take that question for the record and give you a more detailed accounting of, of, the, of the burn pits. Well, I know there's the acknowledgement now that this could be playing a factor in, in the health problems that some of our servicemen and women are experiencing. But my concern here is, is there an integrated approach and, and are we moving fast enough to find ways to substitute some of the, the products that are being burned in the pits? For example, we do know that we're still burning the plastics openly and we could use recyclable materials in the kitchens, which are producing a great deal of the plastic uh, refuse each day. So can you step it up is what I'm asking, and who are you working with? I know your, your field is the medical, but are you talking to others who are responsible for, for what's being brought onto the base and how it's being disposed of? Are you fully engaged, in other words? Because eight years is a long time, and some of our soldiers have been exposed twice, three, and four times to this? Well, well ma'am, uh, certainly the, there's a good linkage between public health monitoring uh, uh, and all the services and the operational uh, commanders. Um, specifics about the, the, the items that you just talked about, I can't speak with um, any real um, knowledge about, but, but again, I'm, I'm more than happy to take that question to the record and give you a much more de detailed accounting of what we've done to coordinate with the in-theater um, uh, operators. And I thank you, General, and I, I'm not trying to trap you. I'm just trying to nudge everybody to get this taken care of as quickly as possible. Thank you so much. I yield back. Thank you. Ms. Songus. Uh, 